Hey Hawaii, we are back checking out more Olympic houses. First up, we're gonna go to the India house. Once again, this is brought to you by Factor. Quick, easy meals that take the stress out of meal prep. If you go to factor75.com and use promo code wanton50, you get 50% off your first order and 20% off your orders for the rest of the month. So, you know, stop just spending $20 on a salad every day for lunch or eating fast food. Sign up for Factor by going to factor75.com and use promo code wantonson 50 for 50% off your first order and 20% off orders all month. Or you can just hit the link in the description. I'm pumped for the India house. I, I think they have like a Bollywood dance workshop. Right off the bat, India got points for the best AC in Paris. Oh, I love it. I feel like I'm in a shopping mall back in the US. India's good at male field hockey, boxing, weightlifting, I think. Also, they had VR glasses that could whisk you away to India without ever having to leave France. Simple as that. I'm in India, hanging out with a hippo. It's gotta be completely honest with you, I didn't even know India had hippos. I thought that was just Africa and Colombia. Outside, you could cool off with a refreshing gin and tonic. Had to get a gin and tonic. It feels malarial outside. And we're near a river, I saw a lot of mosquitoes. The quinine wards it off. The main reason I was here, though, was to learn how to dance like my favorite Bollywood stars. We are now going to get ready for a spectacular dance performance that is going to be done by the best dancers in the world. You know who those dancers are? Bollywood dancers! You are! That's right! Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice. I've always wanted to be an extra in a Bollywood movie. This is the best I'm going to do. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sway, sway. Let's hit the music. It'll be more fun. Hollywood dancing is legit cool. I had danced up an appetite, so then sampled some Pani Puri. Is this a sauce? Yeah. Okay. Cheers! Shouldn't have done that. And that Bollywood dance class was the first exercise I've done in like three weeks, and I'm at the Olympics. I feel like I should be like, you know, taking my fitness a little more seriously. That's why I signed up for Factor, though, instead of just eating whatever's in front of me all the time. Afterwards, a Dutch guy wanted to trade me a Netherlands flag for an American flag, but I unfortunately didn't have one. I mean, do you just want what I'm wearing? No, no. I want a, a flag. This is this? this yeah, there is. It's got a flag down here? Flag. Um, I think I'm gonna get this. I'm okay. gonna be a legend. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, well, it's fine, it's okay. So I just offered to trade him my entire USA onesie for the flag. It doesn't feel that secure. <laughs> the flag may have been red, white, and blue, but it felt weird not rocking the stars and stripes, so I had to back out of the deal. I got another offer. Yes. Uh, two flags, so you can wear one at the bottom and one. Um, no, no, but I have an American flag cape. If you want to take down my phone number, I'll be back here at some uh, point, no. and you can, you can have the cape. But... This is the last time we're here, so... Uh, oh, okay. No. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now in the Chinese Taipei house, is, is this the Taiwan house? What they have to call it Chinese Taipei? I don't know, I'm not getting political. All I know is that the only food they offer here are boba milk tea ice creams, which are delicious, but you would expect a little more from Taiwan. But hey, can't fault these performances. They got all sorts of traditional song and dance. It's nice. Is this like a live dating show? It sure was, and they called me up on stage as a contestant. Let's do it. What do you think about me? Han Pia Liang. Han Pia Liang. Han Pia Liang. Yes. 
Woo! Oh, okay, okay. You want to marry? I have a wife. Marry! 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 Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Oh. I'm oh. yes, yes, yes. All right, and that was the uh, Taiwan house. So now I know that means Taiwan because when they called me up, they were like, Do you want to marry this girl? I was like, Well, I, I have a wife. And they're like, Well, you can't marry her because she likes girls. And I don't think they're that open about lesbianism yeah. in China, but it's, it's kosher in Taiwan. Very excited for this one. The Mongolian house had traditional wrestling demonstrations. Ice cold Mongolian vodka. From Mongolia? From Mongolia. From Mongolia, okay. How do you say cheers in Mongolia? Tudu. Tuda. Yeah. Tuda. Tuda. And a guy there teaching people how to pull the string on a Mongolian bow. Oh my god! Tear off my thumb. Whoa! Ah, there's no way I'm getting the string back that far. What type of exercises do I gotta do to be able to fire a Mongolian bow? Is that like a, a lat a lat pull down or something? That thing is taut. Oh, oh, oh. nope. We don't, we don't leave arrows. We, ha we respect the weapons. It's weapon, but it's also our uh, part of life. So we never leave them on the ground. If we leave on the ground, we have to put on the something, something higher. Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. They say that the arrow went more than 800 meters during the high prime time of Mongolians. Can you? quickly list all the sports that Mongolians are competing in at this Olympics? We are 32 in eight sports. Um, judo, free wrestling, swimming. I'm really shocked that a Mongolian mm -hmm. swimmer is in the Olympics. As you can see, Mongolia is a landlocked country. Mm -hmm. No sea, but still, we're doing it, baby. Well, hey, I love seeing people go hippo mode all around the world, so I'm proud of you guys. Thank you for letting me use this. I'm very sorry, I almost put it on the ground. They also had a yurt where you could sample Mongolian cheese. Is it made from horse milk? Horse no. milk. Cow milk. Cow milk, okay. Uh, Not bad. It's a little sour. I fuck with it. And a yurt hosting some sort of soiree. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Well, this, is a, this is a private event. Oh, a private event? Yeah. Okay. I'll come back. I was asked to leave, though, and for good reason. In blue, you have the ambassadress of Mongolia. Oh, cool. In a blue dress. Wow, cool. Yeah, nice. Make an interview, she will be very proud. Well, you can ask her. Well, it's a, it's a private event, so I walked in and then they asked, they said it's a private event, so I, I gotta go. <laughs> but okay. you're allowed in. I do have to dock them a point though, as I had to wait over an hour for my dumpling order. A few minutes? Alright, I'm sitting over there. Hey sir, you said like four minutes? If you need any help, I know how to wrap a mean dump. Wow, we're in business. It took, I think, over an hour for these dumplings, but they have arrived and they look incredible. Once they were served though, they definitely hit the spot. Afterwards, we headed into town to check out the Denmark house. I don't know if it's like a bar or if it's like a, just a presentation that's like bigging up Danish history. We shall see. We got the slogan right up front, the land of everyday wonder. These shrooms? All right, well, hey, yeah. factor's <laughs> a lot more appetizing than whatever this is. Oh, okay. I have no idea. I think it's a cup of rice. Listen, when you order a factor meal, you're gonna get a, a, little, a little more than this. 
Take as many as you want. Why not? <laughs> They just got a point for intangibles. Pretty cool Lego sculpture. Probably the coolest Lego thing I've seen since I went to Legoland in London. Energy Bajer. I assume that means energy beer. I'm so sorry, but the bar's closed. The bar's closed. The bar's okay. closed. But it's open every day from 6 to 8. Printing 3D food. What is it? Okay. 3D printing food. Come. Oh, 3D printing food. 3D printing food, that sounds a lot cooler than a closed bar. Oh, so they can print rice. You want <laughs> for your food. Oh, I, 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 already, I already took one of these to the dome piece. But that, that is cooler that it's 3D printed rice. The Danish are leading the way. Right now, they, I guess they have a zero on drink and um, probably a 2.5 on food. But the fact that it's 3D printed, I'm going to bump that up to like a 6.3. I love maps. This is Denmark. Oh, and if you didn't know, you know how like there's like New York is named after York from from England. Everyone's like New Zealand. Where is Zealand? Zealand, right here. It's an island in Denmark. Holy shit! All right, folks. I think we I think we picked a bad time to come to the Denmark house. We're gonna get a low score. I don't know if it's deserving though because this this house is not kicked up into full gear right now. I was just wondering, do you have like any events planned uh, over the next week? Every day at 12 we have where you can make your own Lego flower. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you seen our Lego wall? No, I have yeah. not. Is the Lego brand, is that from it's Denmark? From yeah, it is. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then do you guys ever have like food vendors or it's no. mainly no. the ice cream so, vendors? Ice cream and beer. Yeah. Ice cream and beer makes a man very happy. Very gassy too. All right, well, they definitely got a couple more points. Uh, for me learning that Legos are from Denmark. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna put that there. Um, all right, I think we can move on to another house. Two glasses of New Zealand wine. So I had a couple glasses of Chardonnay, what of it? And then does this house serve food? Yeah, sure. New Zealand food? Yeah. Would anyone share a lamb burger with me? Actually, no. We're not gonna get a lamb burger right no, now. Just the wine? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do the wine right now. <laughs> I prefer my meals from Factor and not 25 euros for a lamb burger. Oh, and now we have New Zealand versus France, and they're down by three. Okay. The mood just dampered a lot. Are you from New Zealand, mate? Uh, yeah. Historically, what sports are New Zealand the best at at the Olympics? Uh, historically, rowing. I'd say rowing. What's the difference between rowing and crew? Uh, you know, I couldn't tell you. Do you know what crew is? No, not really. Crew is rowing, but I mean, at least that's what they call it in American colleges. I see. It's way tamer and classier than I thought the New, the New Zealand house would be. I thought it would be kind of like rambunctious, a lot of rugby bros, a lot of Kiwis getting nuts. But Hey, how are you? Welcome to the Belgium house. Our time at the New Zealand house was cut extremely short. Hi, can I have your most Belgium beer? Uh, uh It's a little bit uh, strong uh, in alcohol. And, uh, yes? Yes. Okay, so far, the Belgium house has the best vibes. Great brewskis. And upstairs, they had a live Belgium folk band. Followed by a DJ playing absolute bangers. They went from like a folk band sort of to now it's just like a, a nightclub. And a vibey lounge to watch sports and chat with friendly bartenders. How do you say hello in Belgium? Hello. Hello, okay, cool. I got that. How about thank you? Thank you. 
Thank you. What sports are Belgium usually the best at in the Olympics? Field hockey and the cyclism. Field hockey is like a, uh, it's a male sport too in Belgium, right? Female and male. In USA, uh, males only play ice hockey. Yeah, he likes ice hockey because yeah. it's rough. But I'm sure like field hockey is rough too, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I uh, had a concussion once. I, uh, the ball was here. Oh, and really? And I, I went to KO. I guess there was this Australian player who had to amputate his finger yes. in order to play. Yes, yes, it is. I think field hockey should definitely be played more in America. So, American men, start field hockey clubs at your colleges. What are three reasons why people should visit Belgium? Um, the fries, the beers, and because we are nice. Why are they called French fries if Belgium makes the best fries? I think because they uh, were confusing the, the south part of Belgium because they speak French. I think they thought they were French, but they were actually from Belgium. Because there's different uh, historical sources and uh, some uh, relate uh, the invention of uh, fries in Paris during the revolution and some in uh, the southern Belgium uh, parts. A lot of people in the U.S. think it's weird that you guys eat them with mayonnaise, but then I went what? to like, I went to... It's weird? Mayonnaise is religion here. It's, it's, like, it is. Yeah. You have, if you eat mayonnaise fries, you with eat everything. mayonnaise with fries. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the best sauce. Well, it was time to try some of their famous fries. Hello, can we do uh, one order of frites? Whoa, look at the condiment stand. Looks like cow udders. The Belgium house wins solely off of condiments as of now. Can't even read that. Sauce de maronenza, petru, carfi, pargetti. Mayonnaise, salsa, mayonnaise. Oh, this is mayonnaise with mayonnaise. Oh, I fucking, I melt or drive. Condiments are so basic in America. Figure it out, guys. These are incredible. That seals the deal. Belgian house is the best house I've been to so far. How do you say goodbye in Belgium again? Dag, farewell. I thought Belgium would win, but the next day, I hit up the Netherlands house. I got a press pass to the Team Netherlands house. We're about to head in for the medal ceremony. It's gonna be electric. <laughs> They call all their medalists on stage. Oh, here in this house, all of all, now the blood have a shield. Then shoot confetti cannons while the whole arena sings, We Are the Champions. <laughs> and after the ceremony, the entire place turned into a huge rave, where I even saw some of the athletes crowd surfing. It was bananas, or shall I say, oranges. <laughs> Never gone this hard for their medal. No. I'd never been to a party like that at the Olympics. Nobody parties like the Dutch. <laughs> so I gotta officially give the hospitality house crown to Team NL. Listen, I'll always bleed red, white, and blue, but yeah. Team USA house tickets were three hundred and fifty dollars, and no one in the history of the Olympics has raged as hard as the Team NL Weiss. We are giant. Yeah, the you love makes real joy to people. You enjoy the American. You yeah. enjoy, uh, enjoy party. You enjoy sports. Yes, yeah. yes. We're, we're I like how party. you guys treat your medalists. Because yeah. they get to be rock stars for a night. Ah, uh, that's uh, magnificent. Like, right, everybody, sure. like, it's like I was at a Zach Bryan concert. Yeah, it was pause, man. I was so happy that it's fin that, uh, finished. That's over the train so many years, and they, had, they like to, to, to party. Everything is over, and now, my friend, my friend, my friend. I ain't. I think Team USA should do the same thing. Listen, why train for four years to win a medal? if you can't be treated like a rock star for one night in a stadium. That was incredible. By the way, I did eventually get an invite into the Team USA house by an athlete. It was in this converted museum, so it was pretty, pretty fancy, but still not as fun as the Netherlands. <laughs>